Hello everybody, welcome back, and I hope you've all been doing some collaging. Today we're going to discuss a bit more about collage. Now as I spoke about in my last video post, collage can be made up of all sorts of materials. Last time we only used just one image from our research to do our collages. This time, however, we're going to use several different types of materials. Collages can be made of made up of several different images. Now sometimes these images don't even relate to each other until they're appropriately placed in a collage. If you have a look at your research, you probably have collected a wide variety of things, or you should have if you followed my previous posts about research. What you have collected is a perfect place to begin with your collage materials. Now if you have a look here, I've laid out some materials for my research that can be used. Now first I have a collection of inspiring figures and silhouettes to use as my collage base. Over here I have several images printed out from my research. Now note that I'm not using the original images, only copies of them. This way I'll never lose the original. Over here I have some odds and ends that I've collected, which include some beads, some buttons, feathers, um, I collected a leaf. All these things I collected while I was looking for things inspired by butterflies and moss. I also collected some fabric swatches here. And I included some textile development exercises as well. Now another good thing to have when you collage is several different kinds of paper. Here I have some tracing paper, some foil, even a coffee filter. It's good for different colors, thicknesses, and textures. Now let's talk about tools for a collage. It's good to have some paper scissors around. Whatever you do, don't use your nice fabric scissors for your collages because it'll ruin them. Another nice tool to have is the scalpel. This comes in handy quite a lot when you have those tricky little pieces to cut. As far as adhesives go, just about anything will work. A spray adhesive is nice because it covers large areas and sprays evenly. A liquid glue works well too, although it can be messy at times and sometimes takes a while to dry. A hot glue, on the other hand, dries really quick and it holds well. So if you're gluing, let's say, buttons or beads down, you may want to try a hot glue. You can even use, use a glue stick like I did in my last video. Or some clear tape or masking tape. Now last but not least, have your favorite art mediums on hand. Whether it's paint, pastels, color pencils or markers, just about anything can be used. Now you can use these over top your collages to accentuate or give detail to certain areas. Okay, now that we've talked about materials and tools, Let's have a look at a collage in, pro in progress using the different types of materials that I spoke about. As you can see, I started this collage like our last one. I have a figure cut out. I mounted it on thicker paper because I decided to do some stitching on top. As you can see, the stitching is holding on the fabric. Now I use this fabric in my image of my moth underneath and begin to layer the images together. From here I can continue to collage by adding more images. For instance this piece of a wing. I use my scalpel to cut away parts of the image to accentuate the veins of the wing. I can add this piece of decoration from an old piece of furniture. I can even add some beads just to give the collage a bit of color, a bit of sparkle. Now if I was placing these on the collage, I may want to use my hot glue gun to fasten them down. I can continue to collage by giving my girl a bit of personality, maybe even adding some feathers. 
Whatever you do, make sure that you don't overwork your collage. For instance, here I think I'm going to do away with the feathers. And there you have it. Now what I like to do is scan or make a photocopy of my original. What this does is it preserves your work. So if you lose it, you have not lost the original piece and you can always make another copy. What this also does is gives you a nice flat image of your work so that it fits nicely in your sketchbook.